All right, so should be ready. Should be ready and going. So, hey everybody, how are you guys doing? Uh, great to be here for some more zero time dilemma. Hope you guys are ready too. That's the old republic. Hey Tap, how's it going? Hey Tap, hey uh, Gar, hey Dr. Fox, hey Scribble. Hey, anybody else might be here. Hey, DBK! It's great to see you, man. It's been a while. Well, at least well, I've seen you in chat. It's been a while since I've seen you on my one of my streams. Great to see you, buddy. So, uh, let's see. If you guys remember, we were in the middle of this weird-ass... Teleportation slash cloning room? Where we need to... Yeah, well, finally I get to see uh, DBK. And, uh in my stream again. So we were trying to decipher an alien math system, and I know, I know, math isn't like my best, my strongest suit, but if this puzzle specifically is more kind of like detective style, so I kind of like it, where we need to, we're through like trial and error and looking at clues and like, we need to deduce basically which of these signs it means what. We know that all of these are numbers from 0 to 12. Music is a bit loud. I can turn it down a notch. No problem. I can also scream louder. Hold on, I'll adjust my mic too. I'll turn it down just a bit. Let me know if this is better, if I need to lower it down more. Uh, whatever you guys need. So. What we know so far, actually, I don't think I have anyone here from last stream where we knew, where, where we started deducing, but if I remember right, awesome, thanks, Tap. So, what we know so far, wind is zero. Also, now, we, we're assuming we got a pretty good chance that the sun is number one. Hey, Mori. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm a bit late. I, uh... Honestly, I just fell asleep. I was just exhausted after work. Had a long week. Still having a long week. And I just needed it. And I woke up a bit later than I intended. So. Uh, and the other thing we know is that... The cards... Well, like, the cards with more than one symbol go like this. You see, it's, it's sort of a something between addition and multiplication where you see a man times the moon equals man moon man times man equals man man uh, star times moon equals star moon and so on and so forth and we need to use this to realize to understand like what number this is probably gonna take at least the entire stream I'm guessing so any help is uh, very much welcome but we can also know from some of these things that, for example, because moon gets, because moon can um, be multiplied three times to have moon, 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 we know that it can't be larger than the five. It's probably, it probably, probably not four either. Thinking about it. Because I think that we've tried... I'm not sure if actually we've tried three moons. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Another tool we have is that we can play... No, come on. I hate when the game does this. There we go. So we can use this to kind of play War. I think that game, the card game is called. Where you put down a card. That shows us another card. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I think that the most powerful card we've found so far is is Birdman. Or Burb, whatever you want to call it. Uh sure, you can look at uh You can look at the solution online. I don't wanna know it yet. But you can do whatever you want. I wanna give it this I still wanna give this a shot. I found this uh come kind of more fun than frustrating than I usually like than usual with math problems. So it seems that Bird is, or Birdman, is the is the highest one so far. I don't think I've seen anything that beats Birdman. 
But that helps us know that three moons can't be 12, meaning that moon can't be four. At the very... so that means that moon is... it's very likely that moon is three then, right? Because if it's not... if three moons isn't 12, three moons is probably nine. That's my guess. And if this is three and this... and the, we also... what else do we have with moon? We also have two moons and a human. So that would mean that we got some like six and... So maybe this is four, I don't know. Maybe human is four. Because two human could be eight. Have you played these cards several times? Oh, this is the puzzle. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of liking it so far. Because like I said, it's more like deducing the stuff. The type of puzzles you need a pen and paper for. Yeah, totally. I actually, oh, hey, Wada. If human was four and moon was three, the two moon and human would be 24. Really? No, but that's, that's assuming it is a multi, oh, well. Maybe it's more additive then. Yeah, yeah, I guess I should write things down. Well, I think maybe I should, maybe I'll just do, I'll open up uh, a notepad document real quick. Really should have used a golf's Google Doc, but I think I lost the link to that. There's literally no thinking in this part. I know, Suika, I know that for you there's no thinking, but for me it is. It takes time for me. Okay, so we know the wind is one. Uh, zero, sorry. And we're assuming that sun is one. And, okay, so if... So what can that mean? That moon is... I guess that moon can be either two or three then. Assuming that... Three times three times three, or three times three times... Two... You know what, I'm pretty sure that we haven't, like, we played... I think we played Birdman a number of times, I don't think we've ever seen something that beat it. Obviously, except another Birdman, which is kind of bullshit. I wish we could choose, like, what card to play against it. This is just... cumbersome. But also the... It seems that the... this thing, he doesn't play... like, any multiplications or additions, only base cards. Oh, hey, Aryan. Great to see you, man. For me, for you, the worst part was because of something unrelated to guessing the numbers, but guessing the values is not about thinking, it's about checking relationships between the values. Yeah, I know. Okay, so we know we got We know that Birdman is the highest one right now. And honestly, I don't think I've seen anything that could beat Birdman. Let's try some of the multiplications, though. I would assume that anything... Oh! Okay. Well, there we go. And you know what? This might actually reinforce my thought that moon is, is that moon is three, and man is two. Because this would be t three times. Oh no, it would be actually nine. But unless it's addition, is it addition though, or is it multiplication? I think we need to treat it as addition. But okay, let's say that man to moon is smaller. No, it's larger than bird man. I'm going to write that down. Look at the sheet. What do you mean? Oh, the. Can I just look at it here? Or do I have to go all the way over there? Oh, that's well that's just cumbersome. But okay, let's go back there. Okay. 
No, it doesn't really explain it. It just says as follows. But that X, I mean, it's it's usually used for multiplication, but it could be addition. I actually think that was that with multiplication, this this would be a bit impossible to do in uh, zero to twelve, wouldn't it? So I'm gonna go by addition then. Okay, so that still means. So that does that change everything then? No, actually no, because we still wouldn't be able to do like five. We would we would only be able to do. Okay, I was just using the wrong terminology, I think. So, in that case, if we're using addition, then if moon is three and man is two, then that means no, that's actually wrong. That would make this eight. That doesn't really work. You know what? Let me try. I wish I could choose two two cards. No, we're already pretty sure that the sun one is one because I've noticed that there are a number of uh, cards that don't appear here. There's no sun. Not here, but if you look at this, this is the sun card. Another card that doesn't appear in that chart is the Birdman. And maybe the flower, because I think nothing, yeah, nothing comes out of adding the flower. It's multiplication? It is multiplication. Symbol multiple of itself just to make the same thing. I'm not sure. But, okay. So if it is multiplication, then what the hell could be... Yeah, yeah, you're right. It can't be moon, can't be one, because then three moons would still be one, so that's weird. So does that mean they have to be low numbers? Maybe it's the opposite. Maybe moon is two. And man is three. That would still mean the two moons and man is actually... Hold on, that's four and... What did I say man was? Three. So that means that that's twelve. Yeah, I think that works actually. Okay, let's let's go with that for a second. Let's say the moon is two, man is three. And that would make that would actually work pretty well. Actually all we need to know are just the base symbols. Okay, let me just keep going here for a second. So that would make two men four, right? No, two men would be six. Two moons would be four. Uh, three moon would be... Also six? Wait, that's... So no, that doesn't work. Because two times two. Oh no, that's eight. My bad. I'm just. I'm sorry. I'm. I, I get nervous from doing math. Like, well, I feel like you guys are watching me, and you are. So, I'm correct about that. So, three moon would be eight. What could be seven? Do you write down all the relationships uh, you got from the table? Not all of them. I didn't actually go through each card several times, but I also started last time, so I'm, I'm kind of using some of that. I can confirm it later, but I know some of the stuff already. Like, I know that Bird is the largest one out of the... But then you see, this doesn't... Okay, so what could... Something doesn't work out for me here. Because if we're... Because that would mean that... No, it doesn't work. Something here is fucky. Because that would mean that that will only leave, like, star. Right? Star is the only thing we haven't used yet. That's multiplication. And star would have to be... Oh, a five, actually. So yeah, that actually might work. Star could be five. And then it still works, that there's a multiplication of it. I don't know, prime, 
I know that one is a prime number, and I think that like 121 is a prime number. That concludes my knowledge about prime numbers. Oh, Sensei, good to see you. Yeah, we need, these cards are valued 0 through 12, and we need to understand them. Now, there's a specific relation, like there's a multiplication relationship, for example, moon times moon equals the two moon card, and moon times star equals the moon star card, and so on. Yeah, exactly, Chua. It's the third game in the 999 series. So, the, the third and the last one, I believe. I'm not sure if they'll make another one. Well, same dev. It's also like a continuation of the story. Same dev, same studio, too. Anyhow. So that would mean that star is a 5. 2 star moon would be 10. No, would be, my bad. Star moon, oh yeah, it would be 10. 3 moon would be... Eight. Well, maybe I can stream my notepad document. I'm sure that you will find that thrilling. But if I make a mistake, you guys will be able to realize that better. Okay, I'm not sure how much... Actually, I'm not sure... How helpful this is, and how much of it you can actually see without like Let's do something like this. Just trying something out here. If this doesn't work, let me know. Whoops! Actually, accidentally oh, that shit. Whatever. Stop messing with that. You get six examples of multiplication and the table that compares values directly, but only two, three other card preset cards per card. That's too many words. Speak up. Was that also apparently Konami is still super solid, but Kojima's popularity is trying to get his employees, but oh, fucking Konami. Okay, so. I think we got most of these. Also, another one is zero. Sun so far is one. Okay, so that means that the cards we have left, we got Birdman, who is maybe 7, or 9, or 11, right? Because we actually know that Man to Moon equals 12, if I remember right. That would explain why it's larger, though. So now, okay, so we got that one. What other cards are we missing? We don't know the... I had a sneaking suspicion that... Actually, that would mean I think that Bur Birdman should be 11, I think. I could be jumping to conclusions here because I'm getting excited because I feel like I'm close to this. Because I remember Birdman was the like the largest one out of the singular cards, card symbols. So I think that's that. I remember last stream I sort of concluded, well no, actually that was false, that was mistaken. So something, uh, flower could be seven, maybe? What else do we have here that I haven't added? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm missing nine. What card is it though? What am I missing here? Am I missing a card? How could that be? I'm, it's probably a multiplication one. Hold on. Two moon is six. Three moon is eight. Two moon. No, 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 no. I think I fucked up somewhere around here. So now we got nothing. To make nine and possibly seven. Let me look at this. Any multiplication? No. 
Welcome back, Scribble. Yeah, water. I know I'm 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 getting. Maybe we'll play a bit with the table to see if it can confirm what I think. So let's try to do Star Moon and see where that gets us. Just play around with it a bit. For the flower, the burb, and the target, if you aren't sure, you can. Yeah, exactly. So far, so good. Sun should be just one. Oh, come on. I hate that. This is so dumb. Why would, why would they think that this would work well? Okay, burb is larger. Which actually works well, again, with my idea. That Star Moon is 10 and Burb is uh, 11. Again, but it doesn't show me anything different. Okay, Flower is smaller. Flower, well, still, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this works. Because Flower could still be 7. Okay, screw this. Uh, let me try and play with... Let's try 3 moon now. Let's see, flower is larger than uh, 3 moon. Okay, that works. And flower is less than 10. Assuming that we're right about star moon. So let me try this too. Hey, Duncan! When's your debut stream, man? We were assuming we're right, because I'm always assuming we're wrong. Okay. Okay, that's good. So yeah, that might work. So, so far, it seems to corroborate what I think. Now, just to be sure, let's go with two men. Against the flower, and see if flower beats two men. there. Good. Haven't streamed? No, I know you haven't yet. That's why I'm asking when is your uh, debut stream going to be? Don't want to miss it, man. Oh, well, there we go. There's our problem. Okay, so we know that what we just have, we know that flower. No, wait. Yeah, we beat flower, so it can't be. We know that two men beat flower. So two men at seven. The thing is, Claude. Oh, hi, Claude, by the way. That two men is a multiplication. So that means that men. It can't be, because we. there's no way there's a, like, 3.5 simple. There shouldn't be one, at least. Because... You're right. Because you're right. Because I did it wrong. It can't be. We know that all of these cards right here are numbers from 0 to 12. 2 and 6 when 1 because I thought like twice because they didn't multiply them by each other I just multiplied I, I know I made a mistake but okay so wait so this is all wrong so 2 moon moon times moon is 4 times moon is 8 supposedly but that's wrong we know now so 3 man and 2 man is actually 9 so that's 9 okay 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 all might not be lost. So what is six then? And this actually works with the fact that... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right, Wada. I shouldn't... <clears throat> it's not all, not all is lost yet. So that works. So two men is nine. Then, no, but, oh yeah, man. What if wind is one? No, we, we were given as a fact 
that wind is zero. That's the one thing that we know is a fact. Yeah, actually, I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever gotten anything beyond. I'm pretty sure we're being trolled, though. I don't know, just, just a gut feeling. That we're being trolled right now, but we'll see. There's no way I'm getting 24 viewers right now, but whatever, I'm not complaining. I mean, I wish. So, anyhow, back to this. So, uh, where were we? So, I would actually mean... The Moon Man... Yeah, that's what I was forgetting. Or rather, Man Moon... Should be six. Flower seven. So now let me try Man Moon. And we'll see against the flower. And now we'll see if... if flower beats it. it. Says 12? Yeah, that's actually more likely. 12 on Twitch or 12 on... Okay, I can definitely see like the, the different viewers. Well, whatever, no sense in dwelling on that. <laughs> nice one, Claude. Anyhow... Uh, let's keep trying until we get flower. Oh, what? 12 on Twitch? That's no way. Also, I just noticed... Hold on. I'm sorry. If someone was writing on Twitch, I'm sorry. I only just realized I forgot to... Oh, I was rushing to start the stream. I forgot to... Uh... To pop out... My Twitch chat. But now we're all good. Alright, so, back to this. Let's keep going until we get flower. Oh yeah, I got it actually last stream. Thanks for thanks for noticing that, Cheers. And you know what, I actually might say this as a quick uh, respite that actually, uh, I do thank you guys, everybody, for watching and getting me to 10,000 viewers. It's sort of some sort of a, uh, uh, you know, hallmark, uh, landmark? I don't know. Mar remarkable, I guess. And uh, thank you guys for that. It's not huge, I know, but I do appreciate it. And it was fun. I, d I did enjoy those uh, streaming for those 10k views in general. So, a special. Yeah, here, here it is. Here's your special right now. It's me actually doing a math puzzle and not having a meltdown. That's, that's, it took me 10,000 views, but I finally made it. I'm so proud of myself, and thank you guys for supporting me. God damn it, give me that flower already. Time for me to move on. And clear the, the space for the next turn. Well, there we go. Duncan is supposed to start streaming soon. He could be the new Anano. Finally. So that's perfect. Yeah, that works, actually. So I'm going to assume that flower is 7. That works pretty well. Am I missing anything right now? I think not. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so it seems that not only I did not have a meltdown, I think I actually got it with a lot of your guys' help, of course, but still. Wait, oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. So, now that we got this... What do we need to do with these numbers? I was so preoccupied with uh, the puzzles here. I think we got... Is there a place we can input these numbers somewhere? I don't think so. Now that I know these... Is there something I can do... With this console? All lights are on. Uh, Chairs, I think Me Wagon is actually talking to Scribble, who recently lost his job. Which, of course, sucks donkey balls. So, what am I supposed to do with this? No oh, there we go, the question. That's right. So, now that we know this, let's see. Let's see if we're right. So, Sun is 1, Moon is 2. 
So let's do it like this. Uh, Birdman is 11. Star Moon is 10. Flower is 7. Star is 5. Two Moon is 4. Man is 3. Mana 2 Moon is 12. 3 Moon is 8. 2 Moon. 2 Man should be 9. And this should be 6. We did it! Oh my god! Amazing. I can't believe. I can't believe we, have, we, we did it. There we go. There's your 10k special, guys. I think we can. Uh, Use this source now. So, next up, chapter three. Yes, okay, I figured that out. Chapter four. In order to operate the nucleus, four cards must be, must be placed on the sensor. The alien society has two methods for expressing numbers, however, by converting the number symbols displayed on the nucleus to a second format, you will determine the correct cards to place. Well, great. So this is probably the part that got you, uh, bothered, right, Suica? Oh, this time the monitor on the machine over there turned on. You should check it out. Let me look at this and then I'll figure out what exactly they meant there. Which monitor, though? I'm assuming this one? Is there a monitor? This one? Oh. Okay, so yeah, we know this. Something's on the monitor? I think it's displaying the object it's going to make. It's a 3D printer, after all. Well then, then I know for sure that I'm gonna overlook it as well. Does that mean it's going to make it now? I think so. Let's try it. Oh, cool. Oh, I see. Looks like something came out. So it made what was displayed on the monitor. Oh, we got a number of these actually. Decagon wheels. Can we make more? Something else appeared on the monitor. Is this the same thing as before? Um, it looks a little different to me. Let's just try to make it. Okay, not sure how I'm gonna use these yet. Okay, it's all done. I knew it. It is different from the last one. Yeah, different symbols, I think. Try Decagon reels. Okay. What's a deck? Deck would be 10, I think. So try deck would be 30, man. And that's it. Nothing else here. So we got all of those. Where can we install these? Oh, I know where. Let's try to put the reels we found into this machine. Deck is 10. So that means 10 sided, but what's try deck then? 30? I don't think there are 30 sides on that one. 999. <laughs> it does have four reels, so it should fit. Oh, that was easily enough. Okay, and now we got this. Try dick. Uh, there are five reels, so it should fit. Go in perfectly. So, what do we do with this now? Now we have both sets of reels in. Let's see if we can do anything with it. Maybe we'll figure out something. Okay. Turning the horizontal ones changes the vertical. Are they matching something? These are numbers, so maybe the number is being converted somehow. Converted? Oh no! Don't tell me it's like fucking base 13 or base, I don't know, something like that. Oh, tridecahedron is. What oh, tridecagon? No, tridecahedron is 13. Whatever. Don't tell me it's something like that. So we 
converting the Decagon has 0 to 9, but the Tridecagon has 13. Yeah, the vertical wheel shows 0 to 12. Oh! So that's actually fairly simple. Well, actually, let's, let's play with it a bit. I think it's actually fairly simple. Wait, how do I... Oh, I can only turn these. I see... Okay. I think... I'll read that hint later. I wanna, first of all, write down these down. Actually, since I got the notepad a little bit, I might as well write it there. So we got... Burp, burp. Burp. Uh, flower. Man. Okay. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you wrote it too. Uh, water. Fuck off with that, chairs. Don't trigger me. I've been doing so well so far. Okay, so. So it seems that I just need to, like, input this and I'll change it to the numbers I need. Look, I don't think much thought is needed here. Oh, but of course there's no burp here, is there? Right. Why is there no burp? So how are we going to do this then? Do we have flower and man though? I think we don't have... Oh, we do have man. We have flower. Why don't we have burb though? Let's see what this brings us to. Okay, let's try and figure out the relationship between these two. So we got man, which is three, and we got three moons, which are eight. Maybe it's like times four? I doubt it, but... Probably some mathematical concept I'm not very familiar with. And flower, actually it's not, it's not even... That doesn't actually mean anything. It doesn't like turn them one, like the relationship isn't direct between them. It couldn't be since one has four and one has five. Check the whole wheel instead of spinning back and forth. I thought I did. see a verb here. Is it supposed to have 13 though? Or maybe the pink ones have 13. There's a verb in the top ones. Yeah, I know. But I need to convert like the five numbers, I think, into four. So find in a 10 digit system. So what could that mean? If we're adding all of those, maybe we just need to reach the same number with different digits. But th that shouldn't make sense, but still. I won't find a 10 digit system. Well, not if it has zero. So let me think. If, assuming we're adding here, let me think. So 11, 22, 33, plus 7, 43. Assuming it's addition, then the number is 43. Is this the fidget spinner seam? Yes. Oh, actually, you won't believe. I saw it uh, today. I saw it. Uh, I, I saw today an article that said that the creator of Beyblade is working on a new series about fidget spinners, about competitive fidget spinning. Is base sixty? That means nothing to me. Well, I kind of remember for, actually from that stream what bases are, but it doesn't really help here now. So yeah, get ready for that. Why? Because don't be such an old fucking. Buddy, duddy. I mean, come on. It's what the kids are into today. Let them enjoy it. They'll move on. I mean, we were into Pogs. What the fuck are Pogs? Come on. We're into Pog. We're into Pokemon. We're into, like, collecting cards. All kinds of weird shit. The kids today would laugh at. Who gives a shit? 
Why does that man love spe I Actually, I legit always had the, the thought the like, rabbis paid him off to make Beyblade, because who the fuck would, would, like, think of making spinning tops cool? Only, like, only the fucking Elders of Zion, right? I legit thought there was something shady behind that when I was a kid. Fidget spinners are the devil, fine. Uh, so, anyhow, back to the game. How am I gonna do this? So, 43. Is there any other way I can use five numbers to get 43? And maybe that'll let me do it. We don't have, again, if it's base 10, we don't have Man 2 Moon here either, right? We shouldn't. So, just. If I do 9 times 5, then that's 45. So maybe it's possible, maybe you just need to have like, a number of 2 men. Let me see what that adds up to, just being curious here. Give a hint that might help or might not help. This is a repeat of the pill situation back in the level. Oh, come on. So I just need to look at it differently. So it's not necessarily math, it's about something else. Well, if it's like changing my perspective, I think I'm not gonna do it by myself. That's something that's pretty hard to just like find a different perspective but if you're saying what I think you're saying then I'm wrong on my current path which is like addition and trying to create the same number what's that when you did this though you had to do the conversion mentally and forgot to input the codes in the console because I realized it was a different numbering system by doing math once I got all the values so it's stuck because it didn't have the wheels. Oh, I see. Well, that's okay, Smika. I failed these puzzles so many times that uh, you definitely get a pass. So anyhow, so that's what we got. What if I remove... What if I do something like this? It seems kind of dumb, but... Does that equal... 43 then? Let me see. We got man, moon, man, moon. It, that's 12. No, it can't be. It's 12 and... 21. 22. This feels kind of... Also, I don't know where to input these anyhow. So maybe I should find that, <laughs> that first. Sorry. Horizontal axis has five digits from zero to nine. The vertical has four digits from zero to twelve. Chapter four says there are two sets of mathematical formats. What does mathematical format mean, though? Another hint: the pills in this situation are the floating code on the machine. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Vika. That might actually help. So that means I need to look at that in a different light. But hold on, I just want to. Those would be the horizontal and vertical axis on the machine, then. What's the difference between them, though? It doesn't really matter, does it? But wait, first I gotta, like, figure out when I need to input all of these. Oh, there we go. The book of them. Maybe there's something else we didn't check. Probably another question, then. Oh, hold on. The alien civilization lines up symbols as a means of multiplication. Therefore, the nuclear symbols must be multiplied together to obtain the answer, of course. Of course. But what about the numbers in a column? Oh, so that's what they mean by mathematical formats, I think. Okay, so we'll have to... I'll have to use a calculator for that one. So that's in a line, but in a column... Oh. Humanity is used if 10 is a decimal basis simply because we have 10 fingers. The intelligent beings in this alternative world have 13 fingers fingers and multiple arms. But then what exactly are the numbers for the other method based on? So one is like our numbers and one is... 
It seems that that's exactly what they did, no, Duncan? If they have 13 fingers, then why would they have a number, like, then we're missing a number, don't we? They should have, like, 12 fingers. Or do they... Yeah, they should have 12 fingers, and then another value for 0. And base 13. Okay, so we know what happens. You have 0 to 12. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, and we got 10 fingers. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I realize now what I just said. Whatever. This is beginning to be difficult for me. Uh, so. Okay, let me just, just on the off chance that we do need to convert those as numbers. Let me see. Let me do this. So we got burp, burp, burp. So that's 11 times 11 times 11. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh, so 11 times 11 times 11 times 7 times let's map 3. 27,951. Excellent. That's a big number. Wait, am I gonna get like any more hints or the horizontal vertical numbers and the other way of counting? What is it saying? It could be we need to figure out the alternate dimensions method of counting. This could be a clue to activating the nucleus? I suppose. But I still don't know what to input and where, so... Well, I know what to input maybe, but not where. Funny if they did the base 13 thing without telling you they were doing it. Though. Oh, well, yeah. Pretty good reason to get stuck. So let me see if there's something new there. I knew it. Horizontal is a 10 decimal. Yeah, exactly. I get that. Like, horizontal is our system and vertical is their system. Now we only need to know what numbers to convert. Five digit 10 decimal number. I think we saw something like that in the room earlier. Well, that's probably what we got, like, right? The burr, burr, burr flower man. I think. But where do I input this? Like, maybe even looking at what I need to input and where, maybe that'll help me out. Maybe I can, I don't know, touch it or something? We know what each number means now. We solved the question, I know, I know it's showing, yeah, what I did, and how much that is. We know, 27,951. Yeah, exactly. I should remember this. Okay, but I still don't know where to input it, though. <clears throat> this one doesn't work either. Maybe I should mess around with it a bit? I don't know. Oh! Oh! I think I got it. I think. If if you're right about what you said about... If, if I understood your hint right about the pills, then that means that those numbers... Those are five numbers, and I got five slots here. So maybe I should just go like 27951. Maybe. Let me try this. So what we got? Two is a moon. Two. So it should be flower. Nine, five is star, and one. We put nine, seven, two, seven, nine, five, one into the horizontal axis. Vertical one displayed human, moon, moon, human, human, star, double, double circle. I'm calling it like that. No, I don't want to try it again. I wanted to, like, prefer it. So wait, maybe now the book has a new chapter. No, it does not. So what, where do I input this? Well, 
Wait, so this is a number, another another number. Let's figure out what that number is. I'm not sure what's the the what a vertical relationship means though. I think it took more time to realize it because you didn't look at the input console. What input con? Where's the input console though? It's not this, right? That's just for the printer. Is this? No. Could be I just forgot where it is. It's below the floating symbols? Wasn't it though... Wasn't it turned off? Why isn't displaying anything? Yeah, so... Or did this change somehow? No, it didn't. Wait, any chance I need to input this? Like I need to input using this. It could be, maybe just look at the tower? Yeah. Oh, well, come on. It should have at least... Well, fuck it, now I, well, it's in the same order, so yeah, that helps. I don't need to calculate it, I just need to like write it down. Okay, thanks, Wika. So, uh, what we got here? That's fine, chairs. That's perfectly acceptable. So I got, uh... Man to moon. Two men. Star and sun. That's cool, chairs. What you playing, by the way? Take your time, by the way, don't... Don't have to go back and forth all the time. Oh, something came out. Hmm. I think the cards can fit here. Okay, so. Man to moon. Two men. Star and sun. Amazing. Thank you so much, everybody. Especially Suica for the hints. Oh, I think I did it! Because you don't click every part of the screen. I told you it has more pixels on it than, e than thinking of the healing room. I guess I forgot about that. But yeah, well, it's not that. It's that I did look over here. It's, that, it's just that something changed with no indication. Usually when something changes around the room in games like this, there's some sort of indication, like a sound, uh, a flashlight, like some sort of cue, either visual or uh, audio. Audio, I don't know. Um, but this one didn't. That's why it didn't like go around because I did look, I did click over there before. It's just that the console didn't come out. But whatever. Yeah, it looks as if you were successful. Now what will happen? That's it! Oh my god! We found it, guys. It worked! Yes, but... Oh, so now we're supposed to find Phi. The current casualties. CT. Carlos. Junpei. QT. Q. Mira. Oh, guess we won't be getting five back. Also, how come Akana is always the, the only one that survives in C team? The exit has been open and subsequently closed. The successful escapee is Akane Kurashiki. The decision has now been concluded. Thank you for participating. isn't what we wanted to happen. We didn't want this at all. You tricked at Firo! This is a lie. It, it's gotta be. I refuse to believe this is true. Sigma! What, just because you can't, like, jump around from different, uh... 
between different realities to find the one that's the most comfortable for you. Big baby Sigma. She's having a flash sideways. Yeah. Oh, but she did say we'll see each other again, so maybe that's what... Oh, she remembered that she died! This is the talent where Fi already died. That's why hey, they couldn't find her. What's wrong? But you she said right? they'll meet again, so maybe that means they'll have to like import her using the machine there? Okay. Yes. Thank you. I always forget that these are like Fine. connected chronologically. You know she did. This door will never open again, then. Yeah. Why did Akane leave alone? Is she a bitch? No idea. There's... There's no way to tell what happened for the North Sea. We only know one thing. Carlos and Junpei are dead. That's it. So... You believe the announcement? What it said earlier is true, then that means Q Team is dead as well. But unlike C Team, we can figure out exactly how Q Team died. How come? They were executed. Likely because of the vote of 1330. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Diana, I believe you picked Q Team then, right? Yes. I... I know. You just did as the note suggested. The real betrayer is... Carlos. Carlos. Not good. It's almost time for us to get injected again. We don't have time to waste. Come with me. What other choice do we have? We have one. To wait for Akane. I'm sure the police or a rescue team will... We can't count on that. But why? This is the tree form timeline. Listen to me, Sigma! This is not the time for pointless arguing. We are escaping this horrible history. We're going to where Phi exists. Sigma? Can't he do that, like, by himself, I though? Since he's an Esper? All we have to do is pull this lever. Then we need I to thought you say lever. Wait! Or is it like I'm tomato, tomato? To if you want. What? I'm starting it. You ready? what the decision is if she goes with him or not come on it's off well i'm gonna do do transfer first just so i can close off that timeline but obviously we need to transport to keep the story going 
This is a really like dumb place to give us a choice. Whoa! Diana, you mad woman. You didn't have to fucking wreck it! What are you? Oh my god, she really fucked up their timeline this time. You could have just said no, I don't wanna go. Even though she's got a point here, that's probably true. What is that? Oh, maybe they'll get a quick death though. On, it's sort of a happy ending, I guess. I'm pretty sure we should get out of here. Let's go, Diana. Also, you know, come to think about it. If they're stuck here forever, eventually, like, Zero won't be able to inject them anymore. He can't have, like, an infinite supply of whatever that is. If they're still alive. So even if they find a spoon, or something like that, or a knife, they should be, like, they should be able to, like, dig through the door, or through one of the walls, after, like, I don't know, 10, 15 years? So they're still not locked forever, even though they'll probably go insane after that, after a while. Yeah. It is. You're not surprised? We didn't get injected with the drugs. No, I remembered the announcement from earlier. The decision has now been concluded. You heard right, drunken monk. Also, how you doing? It's great to see you, man. The game's already over, so. It's been a while. How are you doing? Akane will come back. I wonder. I'm not so sure I believe that. No, because Akane doesn't give two shits about you. Uh, doing pretty well. Working hard. But that's okay. I'm gonna go on a short vacation soon. Game over. It's great to see you, though. I've been meaning to hop by at some point, but you know how it is. So wait, so that's oh wait, we want to do the other uh, choice, ob the, the obvious one. Yeah, that leads to a bunch of other stuff. So let's see what happens if we actually go. True that, Junkin. It's all about time management, though. I wish I had the time. Yeah. But yeah, I love playing hard. I'll be going for like two. Like three days, four days to Paris to see some family. So obviously there will be a couple of days of no streams too, but I'm sure it'll do fine. So, uh, transport. Yeah, I can't afford more than that. Oh right, I forgot about the world ending, Suika. Let's hurry. What's with this game? Well, if you remember a while ago, I streamed a game called 999. So this is the third game in that series. It's sort of, it's a, like, the second sequel. Even though this one takes place between the first and the second game. Is this an old game? Not really. I think it came out like a couple years ago. It's just that it's for the um, 3DS originally. And recently, no actually, this one got Important to the PC as well, but it's originally made for the 3DS. That's why it looks like this. And it's pretty much a, a visual novel with uh, lots of puzzle with lot puzzle rooms, a killing game. What we can't choose? Oh, there we go. Oh, so we moved on to a new interesting. Okay. So we're not really choosing then, we're just advancing according to the other fragment we saw earlier. So let's go with this, let's roll with it. And no choices it seems, interesting.
I wonder to what timeline we jumped to. So what happened right now is that we lost the game, but we found sort of a weird alien technology device which lets us something between transport or clone ourselves into a different timeline. Always Team D to that. So we just used it to go into a timeline, I think, a timeline where we haven't lost the, the game yet. And now we just arrived. Did it really work? Well, we got into the input pods. Thing is, if it doesn't clone, if if it clones them and it doesn't like transport their consciousness like in the previous game, then that Diana, means that in watch. this world there are currently two Dianas and two Sigmas. Well, we climbed into the pod. Actually, yeah, Gohar, the, the ancient aliens uh, were heavy so, gamers. When they figured out how to uh, save your progress. But huh. it could be possible that it's 1805 on January 1st, though. Good point. But it also means it could be two or three days off. Or even three or four years. There's no way to know the exact date or time. Even what we see on this watch could be fake. We have no idea. Um, Sigma, can I ask you something? You were the one who prepared everything on the input console, right? Yes. Where exactly did you set it to? What do you no, mean, Tep, where? this is supposed to this is actually the supposed to be the timeline we the just transport. moved a timeline. So uh, this is supposed to be a timeline where Phi is actually still know. alive, supposedly, or I know, or what? they should be it's just a different one, so we don't know fault. for sure. Didn't have time. But in the last time they were the I, only I two that remained in the complex. The they display, lost the game. So Akane left. I pushed a random button. A random and left them in there. It it doesn't matter. It's still highly likely we came out in an alternate history. And if that's true... If I could be here... Bye! 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 It doesn't look like she's here. Whoa. Okay, so maybe not the best timeline. Oh, is this the timeline where both of them died? This is basically Rick and Morty right now. Wait! Sigma! Yep, that's a, that's a that's a nice way to to solve that problem, drunken monk. Sure, but maybe the history we're in. The game is already over too. What oh. was that? Oh, come on! It won't open. Another escape? Anyway, let's find a way out of here. Does that mean the game we'll is still later. ongoing? Well, I guess we're doing uh, Team D twice then in a row. Let's seek a way out. So, oh, we got a fidget spinner over there. And let's look around. Looks like some sort of bathroom. Ew. It's got like dirty water. We're standing in it, it seems. What is this place? Let's start with the fidget spinner. Spin to win. The word spin is written next to the exhaust fan. Does that mean we should spin this? But I don't see a power switch. We can't reach the blades with our fingers. Because we'll have to find a different way. Okay, so I got that. What's over here? The outlet has three holes. It's a hair dryer, but we can use it for something. Also, uh, Drunken Monk, the puzzles here are supposed to be like super simple, but I've been having a lot of troubles with them lately. So feel free to pitch in. So yeah, those have three, and this only has two. That's our problem right now. Even though a lot of times, like the third hole is just for, uh, forgot the word, grounding, I think. 
So it should still work. But whatever, let's let's finish looking over the area first. No water's coming out of the faucet. No water's coming out of the faucet. But this one has water. Looks like it's plugged. Maybe we should unplug it. Huh? No, the sink on the left is making the noise. Is making noise. Let's take a look. Seems to be some water inside after I drained the other sink. Maybe they're linked together somehow. I'm not an expert in plumbing, but that seems a rather strange thing to do. Why aren't they like that? Something's at the bottom of the drain. Still can't reach it. Uh, I guess we're gonna need like a plunger or something? We'll see. I can't seem to reach whatever's below the sink. Okay. A grade, a door. It's too dark over here to see anything. Turn on the light if we want to search here. Okay. So this is all null for now. What about this? This device, what is it for? Nothing is on the display. Hmm, it could be there's no power. Cable isn't connected. Let's plug it back in. Right. Oh, there we go. That was easy. Oh, I think the power is back on now. Okay, let's check it out. So... Plug the cable into the wall, but still not showing anything. It doesn't look like it's broken, though. Let's keep searching around for now. Okay, game. If you say so. Lockers. Let's open. Some kind of note. Power supply must be restarted to unlock the door. Fair enough. If only there was a cat in here. Now that would perfectly calm my nerves. Oh, I forgot Sigma has that retarded thing. That retarded tick. Huh? Um, Sigma, did you just... Uh, if you can't tell, I have... I kind of have a litter tick. When I talk about cats, I... Uh, alright. I guess it's okay. It's just that it was weirder that you just started talking about cats for no reason. Oh, anyway, look. There's something in the locker. I wonder what is it. Oh, well, that was much easier than I thought it would be. Yep. Oh, there's a new DBZ power um, fighting game? I actually remember playing Budokai and really, I didn't understand shit because I never watched Dragon, Dragon Ball, but it was a lot of fun to play. It's locked. Yeah, I see the lock over here. I guess we can't see if we can unlock it. It's not opening. We should search the room for more clues, probably. It's a button lock. Let's see if we can open it. Oh, same thing. I guess not. Still need need more clues. Let's open this one. What is this? It looks like a music box, just with a large disc. Why is there a music box inside a locker? Runs on water. It's a music box. It says runs on water up here. A music box that runs on water. Um, where do we put the water? There's a hole for a pipe at the bottom. That's probably it. What a strange music box. I wonder what it plays. Well, I think we need to, like, use something from here. So that means, yeah, there's a pipe over there. But it's too dark. So I need to come back there later. Okay, so let's start by plugging this in. Fits right in. And what do we do now? Give ourselves fantastic blowouts? I was, I swear I, I read it at first blowjobs. Give ourselves fantastic blowjobs with it. Um, oh, maybe spin the fan up there? Oh yes, the word spin is on the wall next to it. Let's try it out. Let's use the hair dryer on the, stop saying it so much. Yes, I know. Right, it's turning. So, what does it say? Violet, white, blue, red. Easy enough. Violet, white, blue, red. Names of colors? Okay. <clears throat> so, we can use that here. Violet, white, blue, red. That was simple enough. It's nice to have a puzzle. I'm not like totally stuck on. 
I was gonna say it was very <laughs> Let's see what's inside. What is this then? A coin! Nice, we've seen one like this before. Oh, and a remote control. Which probably doesn't work by the looks of it. Let me try and sand it. It's so remote control. There's only one button on it. Yes, of course, always push the button. Nothing's responding. But it's supposed to respond with that, I suppose. To train that somehow. Alright, so. What else do we have? A coin. Maybe we can use the coin in the sink somehow? The water is because we unplugged the drain. Let's check it out. Something on the bottom of the drain we can't reach it yet. Maybe if we put more water in the other sink, it'll come up. If these things are connected, then it's worth a shot at least. Oh, hey, bats. Good to see you, man. So, what do I do with this exactly? It's a coin. I don't think it'll be very helpful in here. Well, that might not be true. We could decide, we could decide something with it. Coin toss? I guess so. We can make a decision. Uh, I take that back. Both sides are the same image, so we can't use it for a toss. No leaving it up to luck. We have to make our own decisions. Okay, that was absolutely no help. Well, we used the coin once to, like, screw away screws, but... Oh, hold on. Oh. Light is on, and this one is not. Is that a fluorescent? It's too dark to see anything. Come on. Hmm. Is this also too dark? Yeah. Can you use the coin? Oh, on this. Yeah, there we go. It's cool. We'll just open it with this coin. There we go. Yes, it's open. Let's check what inside. What's inside? Let's start by resetting it. Restart the device. Didn't know we got set the door will unlock after we restart the power supply. Yeah, but this isn't responding when we push it. Let's see. Let's play with these. Let's turn the right switch off. Oh, I see. The light on the shower on the shower side of the room turned on, but now the locker side is off. So this device can't turn both sides at the same time. Can't turn on both sides at the same time. What's this? It's this hole. It's in the shape of a C. I think we can put something in there. Just don't know what. What? By, look, by only looking at it? Well, we'll find it. Anyhow, now we can look around here. So let's go left to right. One of the floors keeping us from searching this side of the room. It's better that we don't step in it. The water looks questionable. You're right. Is there any way we can drain it? Actually, there is. Assuming it's got... Yeah. Power's back on. Oh, and another... What's that? Another... Uh coin? No. Oh, the lid on the drain is open. The odd water is drained out. Now we can search around safely. But there was also something down there. There's something here. Start. Round piece. I'm not sure where that should go yet. We'll see. So, what do we have here? Looks like a normal shower room. There's a bucket here. Is that for cleaning? I turned on the knob, but nothing came out. There's a bucket. Wear it on your head to gain defense. I think we can find another use for it aside from wearing it. Bucket, indeed. I guess we'll fill it with water somehow. I guess this doesn't... What about this then? Huh? What's this? Water tank? Why is it here? It's clearly out of place. I suppose that's a good reason to examine it. Oh, and that's the C part that we need. Water tank? Why is it in the shower room? Oh, there's water plants. In there are water plants in here. Is Zero planning on getting some fish? And of all places, he puts it here. So, oh, there's a cover here, it's, but it's screwed shut. Can we use the coin we got? Mm, I think the screw is too small. 
If only we had a screwdriver. If only. Small part inside the tank could be decoration, but I'm intrigued. We can't take... Yeah, that's why it's so shiny. We can't take the cover off, so we can't reach it. We could just break the glass, but I guess they won't do that. Okay, let's move on. Oh, this door won't open. Is it locked? Only this one is different than the others. I wonder if there's a reason for it. it sort of looks like a private room for VIP only, maybe? Again, we can just like try to break the glass. Maybe it's locked. A key, a key. Was there a key anywhere? Yeah, it seems like there's a keyhole there. Okay, well we don't have a key yet, but... Pretty normal dressing shower stall. Ah, there's something on the wall. There's a note on the wall, which says... Fully submerge the power supply in water to restart. Oh, so that's so that the. I'm assuming the music box is the power supply. No water. Nothing coming out. I'm assuming it's the same over there. No, damn it. Oh, finally! Water isn't coming out of either knob. What? Then what was that just now? Let's put some water in the... Sigma, please take that off your head. Oh, there we go. Bucket of water. And it is completely solid, it seems. So we can turn the bucket and nothing, ha nothing ha is happening. So... Oh, we need to use it on the sink, I bet. Because that would be too easy. We have to submerge this to restart it, right? Maybe this bucket of water will do that. No. Machines near water are usually waterproof. I'll have to really submerge it. Does that mean this is empty now? No, good. What I actually wanted was to... There we go. Okay, now let's use the bucket here. If we put water here, maybe the one and the other one will increase. It's a bucket of holding. <laughs> I see. Let's test it out. And... There we go. You're right. The sink over there is making a sound. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, the thing at the bottom came out. It's a key? Yes, it is. I know exactly where to put it. Did we lose the bucket? Really? Could have still used it. There's a lot of like usages for water here. Okay, now... Maybe this key opens the door to the shower stall? Amazing. There's a hose here. Hmm, what could we use it for? Okay, I think that can connect... Probably to the music box, but also maybe to the fish tank thingy? I don't see where I could connect it here, though. Let's see with some kind of attached to the tank. It's probably the pump for cycling or changing out the water. Doesn't look like the pump is working right now. Okay, before I figure out, I guess we need to connect it to like one of the... maybe here. Let's attach this hose, the hose to this faucet. Nope, it doesn't seem to be the right size. The hose won't fit here. What about over here? The water works in this shower. Hmm, this shower head is a little crooked. Are the screws loose? Maybe, but I don't think we can do anything with that. So we got this start button that I'm not sure where it should go. Ah, I wasted the magical charge. Actually, that's a pretty good explanation. If only the game devs could think of it. Okay, I think this should connect over here, maybe. But it's made for such a way the water goes in from this hole on here at the bottom. Oh, what a strange music box. Maybe we can use what we found to transport water over here. Yeah, actually, I meant to have this equipped. Just connect the hose first and place the other end in the shower. The hose might reach the shower on the far right. We need to connect it to that one. What? Come on. 
Okay, so I guess I guess we need to like take out the screws from there. I'm just not sure. Okay, I need to think what to do with this round piece. It's a round piece of some kind. Maybe it's a part of something. Great help there. Okay, what could it be a part of? Possibly the music box, actually. But no, I don't see where it would fit. Also need to find the code for the the one lock that's left. Um, let me try some stuff with the showers. Shower heads do not require sc screwdrivers. Maybe we can just pull it away. It said the screws are loose, but I wasn't sure from that. Water's coming out of the shower head. It's crooked because the screws are loose. Can we just... Yes, we can. So we can even use this. Maybe... Oh, there we go. Once the door is shut, it's a sealed room in here. I'm half using the button on it, half just clicking around to see what's going on. It's a sealed room in here. Right, there are no gaps between the frame and the door. It's totally closed up. Let's get out, yeah? Um, yes, we should. Aw, oh, he's saving himself for five. Hold on, we really can't, like, search in there anymore? to be extra cautious. You know, we we'll have to just come in as many times as we need to. Come on, just kiss already! Gay. So. Maybe you're saying I shouldn't use anything? Maybe I should use the hose on it. So I'll kind of realize that. No. Seems like I need to do something here. Okay, the only other thing we got here is this. Something must come out here. You could get a nice fresh cup of coffee if you put a cup here. Or, you know, plant water in tropical fish soup. Okay, okay. I know it wasn't possible, but I just wanted to imagine it. Anything on top? No. Power screwed shot. Can't do anything. Nothing in here. We just found the bucket there. No remove. Yeah, yeah. They said that the coin was too large, or rather, the screws were too small. So I need to find a way to attach it over there. Maybe we can use the button here somewhere. I doubt it, but maybe I can sort of halfway use it on this one? No. This play's not showing anything. Can't close it. Let's try to switch the lights. Hit the lights. Nothing left here. Got the key from here. Can use the button in there. Okay, none of these have anything on them, right? Still don't know what this could be. But if we search thoroughly, we might find something that'll help us. Okay. So something from... 1 to 9 or 0 to 8 or something like that. Can you check the fan again? I guess we might as well. Must be connected to the lock on the locker. We already did that, though. Maybe we can reuse it? Plugged in, we really don't need this anymore. Nope. Can't really check the, the fan again. 
Uh, it helped us open the other lock, actually. Maybe something about this bitch, I've been totally ignoring it. Let's take a little break. We just slowly sit. Oh god, god, I sound like an old man. No, I guess it is just nothing. Let's think. Well, pixel hunting, right? Any ideas, uh, Monk? Can you turn all the lights off? I don't think so. I think it always switches them. Like, let me try... Yeah, it automatically just goes up. Nothing I can do about it. Oh god! The old man way of saying, oh god. <laughs> oh god! Well, there are nine holes up here. I doubt that's a clue, though. Let me look over here a bit. Hole at the bottom. Got the hose. I don't see any other clues about it. Anything else we can use with it? Oh, there's a drawer, but it's locked. Is there any way we can open it? Probably by, like, putting water inside. Why is there a reset? To reset the power supply, I guess? Well, we tried clicking it, but nothing's happening, though. I think we need to, like, submerge it and only then. Oh! How did I miss this earlier? Oh, only when this, it needs to be in the dark. Now I see. Okay, so it's... I need to write this down, I think. Let's zoom in. A recipe for what? Monko. So... Five... Four, forgive my, uh... Crudeness here. Two... Nine... Seven... Six... Three... Eight. Okay. Let's go back. So, how did it go? One, two, three, four, five. Let's do more of that. One, two, three, four, five. What's the rest? Six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Oh, I haven't, I'm sorry. I haven't seen, I haven't played that game at all and I haven't seen enough of it to, uh... Because I'm thinking I might someday actually play it. I mean, I know it got a lot of heat when it came out, but it seems way better than recent Final Fantasy titles. Check this shower with different sides being eliminated. Oh, you wrote that earlier, Suika. Sorry. Must be my lucky day. Really? Oh, because I didn't click on the fucking thing. I hate that they acknowledge that I have to, like... I hate when they do this. That's what I'm trying to say. That just because I didn't click again on the actual numbers, I can't... It's, it's considered luck. And they don't think that I actually looked at it, wrote it down without, like, examining the numbers. Luck? Impossible. You sure you didn't see any hints? Something's displaying on this monitor. Interesting. Hmm, so it's a die. What, what am I supposed to do with it? Oh. Can I switch them somehow? Yeah, it's a puzzle. I see now. How do I switch them, though? Oh, now I see. Okay, okay, okay. Is it one that's like a fixed point, though? I think not. I think I'm kind of screwed here. Go 
because we know that this doesn't work. Oh, but this does. Sorta. Yeah, this looks better. Yeah, I think that that's... I think this is one dragon. Looks pretty well. Uh, yeah, this is actually way easier than I originally thought, I think. Yeah, much easier. What else do we have here? Uh, let's start with one of the endings, I think. Here we go. Okay, what else do we have here? Is that it? I think that's all the dragons. Aw, oh, come on. What am I missing? It looks like it, it works. Oh, this dumb shit. Oh, come on! <laughs> Fine, whatever. Oh, the drawer opened, <clears throat> and something's inside. Finally. Okay, now I know what to do. Uh, first of all, we need to switch the lights. Hit the lights, the lights, the lights, the lights. We open the cover. And, oh, a round hole. Now I know what to use this for. I knew it, it fits. I see, so this piece is a button. Really? The start on it didn't clue you in? Alright, let's push this button. The pump started working, then this is a button to operate it. Something came out of the tube, let's see what it is. And of course... This is the part that was in the tank. It got sucked out by the pump and came out here. We know exactly where this should go. I think this piece will fit right in. Let's try it. I knew it. It fits perfectly. I think maybe now we can restart. Oh, the light turned off. I wonder what stopped working. Maybe the connection between the switches is broken? Hmm, that's highly possible. Alright, let's try changing the switches again then. Okay. No, wait. No, don't do that. It's likely linked to the other switch. If we do that, both sides will be dark. So wait, can we reset? Okay, so wait, what do I need to not press exactly? Let's turn the last switch off. No, don't do that. It's likely linked to the other switch. If we do that, then both sides will be dark. So if we turn this one on... Oh, okay. The locker side of the room. So now it's all lit up. Excellent. And now, do we still have the screwdriver? Yes, we do. I think the screws are about to fall out of this shower head. You're right. Let's use the screwdriver. <clears throat> <laughs> well, I'm gonna pump that shit so hard, drunken monk. You won't believe it. I'm gonna pump it, gonna suck it. I took it off instead of screwing it on. <clears throat> yeah. Also, excuse me a second. Sorry, I just had to clear my throat. Okay, so we got Jose here. I think the hose will attach here. Oh, then we can connect the other end to the music box to try and get it to play. You're right, let's try it. Well, at least it didn't ask me to click each one separately. The music box is playing, and of course it's... Kind of a rip-off on the... On the music from, um, Virtue's Last Reward. Yes, but... This is it? I thought something else would happen. I like the sound this makes. And this melody... Just makes me want to sing. Of all times, you... La la... La la la... La la la... 
啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦。Oh, nice. Oh, sorry to interrupt, Diana, but the drawer in the music box is open. You're right. Who would have thought that my singing would open it? Uh, yeah, sure. What you said. Oh, there's a note inside. Fill the room with water! Okay. Oh! Well then. What's going on? Did I do something I shouldn't have? No clue. But this is bad. At this rate, the whole room will be full of water. No, the door... It, the door out is still locked. I don't want to drown. Me neither, but we still have some time. We have to stay calm and think. Well, we need to fill up the room with water, right? So... My guess is... Whoops. Unless they die here, but I don't think you can actually die during a puzzle. I think we're actually kind of supposed to drown. Now it's closed, so this remote controls it. No shit, Sherlock. So the water should go up now and reach, and we need to, we know that we need to like fully submerge this. And there's still plenty of space between, you know, when that is fully submerged and the actual ceiling. So I think we should be able to open the door then. What now though? We just wait or? I don't think this really is the time to do that. You're right, we should. But what should we do about the water? The door won't open, we can't stop the water. There must be something we can do. I'm actually not sure. I thought if I closed this, then the water would eventually rise. Oh, I guess maybe they can stay inside, because we know that this is isolated. Well, it is closed now. If everything goes as planned, the room will fill up with water, but this won't. The thing is, <clears throat> they'll have to open the door to let go and reset the power, wouldn't they? Oh, okay, that went quickly. Oh. How lucky that it did it by itself. I think the water is all drained away now. Oh, wow, that was scary. You think it's okay to go out? Throw the head right into the water and kill you. Actually, it should have uh, electrocuted us, you're right. Well, not us. If he would have opened the door, it would have electrocuted us, dude, because... The hairdryer is much lower than the power box. Good thing we're here. Okay, so now... Restart. Yes, please. Oh, this button is flashing. Wasn't doing that before. Maybe it's because the room was filled with water. The door should open if we push this. Actually, we didn't even need to like throw the hairdryer. There was an electric electric outlet out there, which is, I guess, is also why we couldn't just stay outside. We had to get inside the the shower room. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Huh? Ooh, the golden door. And of course, we found it. Why is there a door here? I was right. This door isn't marked on the map. Hmm. So yeah, this is what, what Zero planned. Nope. It's locked up tight. It looks like you need to put a code in here. Anything come to mind? <sighs> All I can tell is that it's an eight-digit number. An eight-digit number? What, seriously? I don't know. How am I supposed to know? Time to decide. What What do you mean? I don't have that. I thought there was a, there were also no decisions here. We're over here. Door of Truth. I'm assuming this leads us to like the, the true ending or something? But we have to find the, the code somewhere else. Well, we might as well try that, Drunken Monk. Oh. 
no. My choice is made. I'm sorry. I can't think of anything. I wonder if there are any hints around here. Hints. Hints. Game over. Zero, 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 one. Uh, okay, I guess that's it for D team for now. Wait, I can't go back to like a different. So I'm here right now. Don't transport, transport, and now we are in here. Right? Jump to here? No. Oh no, we actually jumped over here to the door of truth. So it seems like it actually could lead to the final like the, the one of the big timelines endings. Sixty nine. Uh, okay, I guess we'll just need to find it somewhere else. But how do I How do I go back to our world? Transporter. What does that mean, number cleared? Number of... Oh, a number of, fra of the fragment parts, I think. So, again, how do I reach... Maybe I just need to, like, jump to a different fragment, then. Just for the heck of it, let's... No, come on. Wait, why can't I jump anywhere else? Oh, I guess I need to, like, jump back to the transporter, and then maybe I can move around. Oh, and this is after they found the map. Okay, so I'm starting to see the correlation here. So if I jump over there, I can do it. Sigma. Yeah, I guess this is a really weird system, Ooh. but whatever. No. Team select. What? Still? What's going on here? Look to the timeline right after the transporter? Could I do that though? This is here, right? Can I jump here? Is this something I haven't done yet? I thought that was just the connection. Oh yeah, it seems like this is after they activate the transporter. Interesting. I misunderstood the thing. So they cloned themselves. So their clones are over there, living it up in the shower. But they're still stuck here. What in the world is going on? <sighs> That sucks. We went into the input pots, and now we came right back out of the same ones, but not the export pots. Did the process fail? No, wait. Hold on a sec. Let me think about this for a minute. Yeah, just cloned okay? you. Your clones are gonna live happily ever after. Like Sigma kind of deserves this, but. Diana, not so not that I know of at least. Yeah. Though I don't I really know now. much about her. You understand what happened? Remember what Zero said. This transporter isn't one that simply teleports various objects. What is transporter is only the atomic data. The object itself does not get transported. 
I remember one time with my grandma years ago. The, the first time she sent me a fax, she said, The paper came back, Sigma. Maybe it didn't go through successfully. It's the same thing. Yeah, Just that's actually like a pretty good uh, explanation. The actual paper, we too. Our original bodies remain. So they fa so they didn't clone they themselves. They faxed themselves. I actually like that point? term better. But there's one thing I don't get. Why is this me, the one that stays? Also, he's there. Hey there, Wash. If our data did end up transferring correctly. It wouldn't have been a surprise to see we were in the transfer point world. So, why are we still here? <sighs> Sorry. I know how strange this sounds. It's clearly an esoteric conundrum. Even after thinking extensively on it, I'm not sure I'd figure it out. But... I do know one thing for sure. We've run out of cards in our deck. No, I told you already. Like, if you find like a spoon, you should get be able to dig through the, a wall or the door in like 10 to 15 years. And if you manage to not be crazy by then, you should be fine. So wait, I kind of want to see the flow now. So does this mean... So it's locked, at least for now. Or maybe will they like send someone back? Or is it gonna be locked forever? We'll see. So I guess that's it for now. We will continue from here. Uh, not tomorrow, actually. Because tomorrow I am not gonna be streaming. I've got some stuff I gotta do. So we'll continue from here on Friday. Same time as today. Uh, you, remember, you can check the schedule to see what time is it for you. Uh, you can also go into the poll and choose what game you want me to stream after this. I'm actually working right now. That poll isn't very good. I'm looking on uh, trying to figure out a different polling service that could work. If you have an idea, let me know. Because uh, it seems that there's nothing that's really perfect or that actually suit, completely suits my needs. So, ideas are welcome. For now, I'm trying to, like, I don't know. I'm doing some research trying to look into it. Other than that, of course, if you enjoyed the stream, feel free to follow me on Twitch and YouTube to watch my past broadcasts. And Twitch, Twitter, and Steam to get notifications when I start to stream or if there's a change in schedule. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody, of course. It was a pleasure for me to, uh, to be here with you guys. Thanks for all the help during the puzzles. And that's it. Hope to see all of you guys soon. I'm not sure if anyone's going to stream soon, but you should stick around just in case. And that's it. Take care, everybody. See you on Friday or maybe sooner. And that's it. Marco.